Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop, a live view in Colorado from the Continental Divide up at the top of Loveland Ski Area. It is a beautiful morning, but you can see down Valley, you're looking east. There is some smoke in the air that's been moving uh, into Colorado out of Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, all these places. I'll look at the smoke forecast coming up. But clear as a bell, it is a warm, dry forecast for a lot of Colorado. Uh, let me take you over to water vapor satellite imagery here. So lay of the land, your oranges and your reds are your drier air aloft. The blues, the whites are your moisture. Big area of low pressure right here spinning up through the, uh, the Gulf of Alaska, kind of moving up towards the Yukon. And then this is all part of the, the flow that is still favoring uh, British Columbia. That's where everything is heading up into that area, leaving most of the West high and dry. There's a little bit of tiny moisture right here trying to sneak underneath the ridge. And that may play into the forecast just a little bit, and I'll show you that coming up as well. But that's the pattern right now. The storm track's still favoring um, the Pacific Northwest. Um, so here are my uh, bullet points, and they haven't changed since yesterday, if you tuned in here. Storm track favors BC, high pressure for the Intermountain West, um, with 7 to 10 days of warm, abnormally warm and dry weather ahead. Just a tiny bit of moisture in the atmosphere, and I'll show you that coming up here. In fact, let's go to the smoke forecast first, since I did mention the smoke. Um, so here is your, um, your smoke forecast. This is vertically uh, integrated smoke, so all the way up through the atmosphere here. And, um, so you can see the smoke coming out of Utah, drifting through Colorado, smoke coming out of Wyoming, smoke coming out of Idaho, smoke coming out of Montana, all of it just kind of drifting down beneath this area of high pressure. Typically, if you were in a more active weather pattern, uh, you'd have fronts that come through and blow this out of here, and it wouldn't be an issue. But um, beneath this big ridge of high pressure, there's just not a lot of um, not a lot of fronts or even high winds to kick this out of here. So that's the uh, the smoke forecast as of right now. Let me show you the moisture, relative humidity. There's your time slice through. This is snow mass in western Colorado, up in the uh, the Elk Range here. So notice all the dry air initially for the next probably uh, 48 hours, and then on Wednesday there's a little bit of uh, humidity in the atmosphere there. We may have an afternoon rain shower, a thunderstorm or snow shower over the high peaks up there in the Elk Range. Um, uh, that would be on Wednesday, maybe trickling into Thursday in the afternoon, but that's not a lot of moisture right there. Um, that's just a little kink in the atmosphere kind of moving through. Um, so kind of interesting. Now I want to show you this 15 day temperature, high temperature forecast. This is for South Lake Tahoe in California. Now, it's the same kind of pattern I showed you for Yellowstone Lake yesterday. The red line is your average high or your normal high temperature. Every single day is forecast to be warmer than that. So warmer than average, warmer than normal. A lot of 60s for high temps up there all the way through 15 days out, 60, in fact, 70 initially there. Um, but just a warm, dry stretch for a lot of these places across the West. All right, let me show you the jet stream forecast by the end of uh, business today. Uh, so there it is, a lot of high pressure ridging across the Intermountain West. Everything uh, goes up into BC, Canada, and beyond. So putting this into motion, Tuesday, and there's Wednesday, a little bit of a dip in the jet slides through. That helps to kind of bring a little bit of that moisture through the Intermountain. But then it's, it's back to warm, dry weather with that high pressure ridging. Now by the end of the period here on 1016, there's a little bit of a dip in the jet across the northern tier. We might have some moisture very late in the period across the northern tier of states. Um, you know, talking and speaking about moisture here, here is the forecast radar and satellite. So there it is by 5.30 this afternoon. Your precip's all there, all up into parts of BC. All right, let's move into the future. There's Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Now this is Wednesday morning. Now Wednesday afternoon, you can see just a little bit of green over the higher peaks of Colorado. That's that moisture I showed you in the atmosphere that's gonna kind of slide through. It's a small chance, but nonetheless, it is there. Uh, the bulk of the moisture is up there into Canada and parts of BC. All right, there's Thursday. There's Thursday afternoon. Here comes Friday, uh, 10 11. There's 10 12. A little bit of moisture hits California, dries up. And 10 13, here's uh, 10 14. Um, now, by the end of the period, look at the moisture in the northern tier, kind of sliding down through parts of Wyoming and Idaho. Um, so there's a little something there. And you notice the snow up there in the northern tier, northern Montana, potentially potentially there, but more so up in the parts of BC. So there's a little action very late in the period. Snowfall forecast reflects that, again, a little bit across uh, parts of northern Montana, up around Mount Baker, 
uh, but most of the accumulation, especially late in the period, is up in the parts of BC. Let me zoom in on that map. So there it is, very light stuff, very light snow accumulation coming across the uh, U.S. Canadian border. Most of it's up there at higher elevations in parts of British Columbia. So there's still going to be snow. It's just going to be north of the border for most of the time period. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you guys tuning in here and take care.